Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm doing today's video on Los Bareles. It's uh, a great little beach town. Um, we had a uh, nice time there. We were there uh, over a week. Um, tons of side-by-sides. Um, there was like 10 rental places in the in the uh, city. Um, you know, you can rip around the beach, you can go up the Aurora, uh, lots of places to, to drive. And, they, and people just use them as cars around there. Uh, so that was, that was kind of interesting. Um, more there than I had seen anywhere else in Baja. And we stayed at Playa Norte and uh, it was nice. We got there, it was just right off the main drag, uh, just after the Aurora. Uh, nice place, good owner, uh, showers were hot, they had laundry, they had gravel, um, like pea gravel on the, all over the site. So you, you get kind of tired of sand after a while, it gets in everywhere and everything. Um, so that was kind of nice. And so we stayed there for a few days and kind of just, um, recharged and, started feeling normal again um and because our camper's too small to shower we shower in the in the ocean or or you know do a sailor shower once in a while uh so it's nice to have an actual shower and, and have one that's hot so um so shout out to to that campsite uh, and the then after that we had some friends that were right next door on um uh, some blm uh, area so we we're able to boondock um, so we hung out with them and it was boondocking so you save on uh, you know camping um, and ev everything was close we just walked up the beach we watched Super Bowl um, yeah so you know I have a bunch of clips in the video um, that kind of shows uh, so it shows you this but also it's it's windy there most of the time so it's huge in kite surfing and that sort of thing uh, so it was pretty cool to watch there's a few guys that were amazing these guys were pros um, so we watched that and uh, you know just hung out in town there's a nice couple of strips where there's you know restaurants and just different shops and stuff so it was interesting to to see and then having our motorcycle we cruised around and um uh, um saw so, uh, you know in and around the area um you know so it's nice to have something like that so you can you know do a little bit more exploring uh because kind of once you set up in your rv you don't want to move at least we don't anyway so without further ado i'll just uh jump into the videos and hope you enjoy it and uh then i'll see you on the next one at our next stop um, after this video. Thanks for watching. Okay, we're in Los Bariles. First night here on the beach. Kind of a rocky beach, coarse sand. Windy. This is windy here a lot. But pretty nice campsite. I'll show the name in the comments for uh, on the video. Play a something. Play a door tank. Yeah, so many quad places here. I found driving around, there's probably 10. 10 quad rental places coming to the campsite off the highway. Like, that's just nuts. So, this is the quad capital of. Baja, guaranteed. So it looks like this place, if you're into kite surfing, not sure what you call that thing. This is where you come. All kinds of, I don't know if these are rentals or I think people stay here all the time. They have their, their stuff that's here and side by sides everywhere. Good toilets. Good hot showers. Yeah, pretty nice. 
we're just dry camping, so we don't have any of the services. They do have sewer and water and all that good stuff. A lot of permanents, it looks like. Oh, kite board in place. Yeah, nice campsite. Docking area, Los Morales. So, uh, looks like some people already set up permanent up here. Very close to town. You can walk or ride or quad or side by side. Windy day. Oh, here comes. Kills the monster. Courtyard out behind. Another dog over there. A little uh, area for basketball, pick and roll, whatever. We're getting a little beach fire going in Los Barrios. Here's our camp spot. Now what you can see now with being so dark out, but the light that's on the camera helps. There's Benson, got a light on him. See him. Some people are coming in late. The ocean's back behind those trees, which you can't see. But got this kind of nice secluded little spot. The wind has calmed down. Yeah, so we're gonna have a night fire, a couple friends, blinding you, I'm sure. Get rid oh, get rid of this. We're going to have some friends over tonight of our fire and have an evening. Have a few drinks. I like their uh, HVAC in the store. Flexible sock for the duck park. Save a lot of money doing that in Canada. Okay, looks like it works pretty good. It's cool in here, super hot up. A couple of nice little haciendas on the edge of the sea. Sea de Cortez. This one coming up is for sale. US dollars it would take to buy this place, but I think it would be a few. Nice pool. Looks like they're kind of away. Uh, nice gates for sale. Some kind of open land there. It's all fenced off, saying private. And then the boondocking area where you see the campers, and then the Lost Brothers in the background. And the Sea of Cortez. It's a windy, cloudy day. Super Bowl. Super Bowl 2024 today. Looks like it's going to be uh, kind of a miserable day. It's still kind of warm, but windy, windy. Out for a morning walk. Nice houses up on the hill there as well. Yeah, beautiful place. next to some open private land, maybe be developed one day, but for now it's, it's empty. Looks like a dead eel. And uh, look at the teeth on it. Oh, I didn't realize eels had teeth like that. It's uh, a little scary.
Adam Eagles on Super Bowl Sunday. Having some margaritas and some good food. And uh, yeah, getting a little chilly, but it's pretty cool. It's all good. Here we go. Here's the Eagles Super Bowl crowd. This game. There's our crowd over here. Hey, you made it. Say cheese. Cheese. Cheddar. Hey, Super Bowl fans. <laughs>